bodies. Come outside. presented to us i was like dang okay we got some royalty up in here woody snapped on that bitch with that thank you i ain't gonna lie i appreciate this show so this shrimp grits yeah hey hey don't nobody touch them blood clot hit me up hey we must pray all right everybody gonna put your hands in i'm gonna leave you gonna leave it yes ma'am dearly father we are gathered today to eat this beautiful food Oh, and we walked in on the pool. Who you at your walk to the door? You know she means no harm. I mean no harm. <laughs> oh, the food that is here to nurture our bodies and better our mind and get us ready for this challenge today. In your name, Jesus Christ, Mr. Amen. 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 Y'all wait, y'all praying to Jesus Christ. You be praying. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. I'm just saying. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? I'm still morning. I'm still morning. Hey. Y'all see Katie the stripping grits is looking good. I'm glad y'all already up. I want y'all to finish eating and I want y'all to meet me in the living room because we got to get the day started, all right? All right. I'm glad y'all busy because I really got to take a shit real quick. Hey, spray behind yourself. Please. I know y'all probably ain't going to hear that while y'all eating. I'm right yourself. Hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Chef's food! Chef's food! I'm just gonna show you the show, baby. It's good, y'all? Yeah. 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 She did, she put a big toe in it? You see, we shut the show. I'm gonna take a shit. Thank you, thank you so much. I got you. I'm New York, baby. Let me see what it's cake like. If you put sugar in the grits, isn't it like farina at that point? All right, like, 
Like, you know, I'm back home. We do the, like, the reviews on the salt soap. You know what I said, Stu? They want thigh right here. That's like a 10 out of 10. Highly recommend it, I said. I'm from Duval type shit, right? Like, so shrimp and grits, like, nigga love them some shrimp and motherfucking grits. Nigga love that for breakfast. Nigga love that. So you either gonna hit or miss with that. And that's all I got to say, baby. Respin the block type shit, buddy. I can't say I'm against it, but once, my man, once it's like it, once it's got shrimp and shit. Yeah, I can't, I can't put sugar, sugar. Yeah, once it got right. like this in it, it's it like already got that little saute flavor. Sugar. I like it with sugar. But it's good. Though. Yeah, but once it got like shrimp and all the yeah, then I can't do that. Nah, I don't eat shrimp, I don't eat seafood, none of this shit. Oh, you did say you don't eat pork? Yeah. No, no pork, no seafood. You are, you strong for that. Wait, what did you guys do? You like you guys do? No, I just don't eat this shit. I eat everything else, as you can see. Except the seafood. I eat everything else. Everything else, as you can see. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you can't eat this shit. 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 Yeah, you you know what I'm saying? I still had my biscuit though. You know what I'm saying? Don't play with a nigga. I still had my biscuit though. But she, other than that, I feel like it will fight everybody else. Fuck they shit up. Yo, your big girl don't fight that period. They just be sliding. I eat everything else, as you can see. <laughs> So being from Brooklyn, I ain't gonna lie, we got about two or three breakfast options. You gonna get a bacon, egg, and cheese. You gonna get a chopped cheese because you just that hungry. Or some porridge if you Caribbean. So I'm fucking with this shrimp and grits. It's out of my norm because that's not something I really eat. But I'm fucking with this shit. The caterer, she definitely did her thing. Big up to herself. Because the shrimp and grits was busting. That shit was nice. Aye, aye. Y'all better full? Yes, 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 that's good because y'all gonna need that for this next competition. Is y'all ready for the next competition? I wish, I wish I could tell y'all more, but I definitely got somebody for y'all to meet. But right now, y'all got 15 minutes to go put on some warm attire just for the cold, because we're going outside in Houston in January. All right, mm -hmm. y'all got 15 minutes in the BP mobile party bus we be putting up, and we got the load, and we got to get out of here, because I run on white people time. Shit, man. Let's get it. What kind of shoes? Um, athletic shoes. Okay. Athletic shoes. Oh, my damn, again? When, when you gonna tell me to throw on some jeans? Or some shorts? You know, the forces yesterday. Yeah. Athletic. All right. Yeah, y'all some athletic right. shoes, and y'all should be good. But, uh, y'all really only got 15 minutes starting now. Let's go. All right, let's get it. Here we go again with warm clothes. You don't need warm clothes if you inside. That means we're going straight back out into this freezing cold fucking weather. Man, I don't even know who they can up. She's talking about she got somebody supposed to be too. I'm saying. I don't even know who the fuck they would bring. My part is, what is athletic shoes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Cleveland. I don't, I don't have any athletic shoes. I came in Tim's and only Tim's. Hey, all I brought is fucking Jays, Dunks, and Forces. Oh, and Crocs. Dirty. And Crocs, bro. I, I put this. these bitches in sport mode and call it a motherfucking day. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, but I'm definitely gonna wear some fucking joggers, sweats, type shit. Because I can't. Yeah, what do you think today's challenge is gonna be? She say athletic, ah. You think it's gonna be basketball or something? What you think? I ain't thinking that. So I need to be able to. Okay. <laughs> Shit, I was gonna throw in that score on the field, but I don't wanna fuck up my one, so I'ma just have to, I'ma have to thug it. It's cold as fuck out this bitch, and she already had a nigga swinging dick in the cold. What else the fuck she finna have us do? And we loading up on a party bus, so it's not, it's not, it's not here. So we have to travel and be outside somewhere in Houston, Texas. Bitch, ain't no telling what she was finna have. I think, I think we going to the farm, gonna milk some cows or some shit, fucking with Woody. Thug it like today. I'm gonna just throw on an Under Armour sweatsuit with the black forces. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm gonna do it today. So I'm enjoy it. It's real simple. She said fucking athletic shoes and shit, so we definitely gonna be doing something physical. Like, bro, I know we not finna be boxing or some shit on fucking uh, round two and shit. We don't even know each other like that. Like, I cannot be going to war with these bitches already in the house. You can already tell they not fucking with me for real like that. Just off the fucking look. 
conversations and shit. I don't know, it's just weird energy and shit. What you think we finna do? Yeah, I think some we going outside in the cold again. Something athletic, so hooping. He is an athletic type of person, so I'm thinking we probably go hoop or something. I'm hoping that we can hoop because that's that's I feel like that's definitely gonna be my challenge out top if we hooping. Hooping? Probably, God, dang. probably playing ball. I ain't no hooper. Like I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. Nah. <laughs> I see. I'm trying to brace myself, you know what I'm saying, with the knees and shit. But I'm definitely going, whatever it is, I'm going to give my all in this shit, and we're going to see how it go. I play football and shit, but no hoop, <laughs> no hoop. Damn. Damn. I so, yeah. think we're going to do, like, some sprints or some shit. Some sprints? Yeah, some In the cold, boy, I don't know. We going somewhere, up. so shit. The only thing we'll do this for we need some more space, so. Yeah. We probably going to do some sprints or something. But, yeah, like whatever you said, it's Whatever it is. Food. Get your jacket, get your hoodies, your yeah, hats. Right. They need some shit, okay. It's like 25 degrees in here. Most definitely, most definitely. Bro, shit, we finna before. get this shit together, though. Hey, have you seen my Oreo? Bro, I can't find my fucking Oreo. No fucking word, bro. Nah. I got them hoes last night. You put them in the kitchen? Nah, we all brought the bags in together and shit, man. I been not see nobody eat no fucking Oreo. That's all I know. I'm a fat nigga. Three I'm things I don't play about, man. Play with hey, food. My money, my family, and my food, nigga. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Bro, what you think of that breakfast room? No, that shit was good. It was new to me. I'm not even gonna lie. That's the first time I had shrimp and grits. That's about the name. Oh, that shit was salty. It was salty. The shrimp was salty. Oh, yeah. It was cool. My mama is a chef. Like, so she makes that shit daily. But the shrimp and grits, it looked so good. I was ready to dive in. But I finally took a bite, and I was ready to spit it out. Ain't no shrimp and grits like my mama's, and that proved it right there. It needed more seasoning. The cheese wasn't cheesing. And I needed a little bit more flavor. It was not it. But I finished it because she was watching this. I don't know. But she's going to have us in a cold. We got to go somewhere. I don't know where we're going to go. Like, last season, they had them on the beach. Ain't no beaches out here. I'm having cold. Who was on the beach in the cold? And I know that. Whatever, I stay in Jacksonville, so whatever we do outside, it's finna freeze. Like, I gotta wear a whole coat, jacket. That's the one. You gonna be nice, cozy, all that. But I really need to get some points in the board. I'm not gonna lie, the rock ain't beat all the rest of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's I did one with my left hand, and then one with my right. I'm just so tired. You can't control that type of shit. She said it's not athletic, bro. I don't know, bro. Shit. You see me? I'm not like... throwing dicks again, okay? Yeah, I just got Obviously, it. you the best dick slinger here, because. You know, Nike is yeah, not here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, I got it. Listen, yeah, if, yeah. If you took a win for the room, okay? Yeah. It's a, it's a little bit. It's, we've been a little bit biased with the team shit. Come on, friend. You know it's going to be the same time. Regardless. Okay. It was below fucking zero degrees. I think everybody just wanted to get the fuck inside. I was salty because it is a competition, but I'm like. At least my roommate brought it home. Fuck it, we got something to talk about. First point, go to the porn stars. Yeah. As long as somebody from this room win. Yeah. That's all I care about. That's all I give a fuck. I'm trying to see what this fucking weather exactly is, because yesterday was too cold for me. I ain't gonna lie. What you think we about to be doing? I don't know. Okay. Someone, bitch, it's someone gonna be some game. Of course, it's Sushi Daddy. Everything we do in this bitch is good. I'm gonna think we're gonna have to fly, fly rainbow flags and some shit. See who can run the fastest with a rainbow flag and some shit like that. Damn. Shit. Damn. I just feel like, first of all, if you didn't like me, just say that, pussy ass hoe, because it's cold as fuck. We already did a challenge already. Now you wanna come back and say we gotta do another challenge, go back outside? Bus with the hoochie. This shit get like this. Real ass. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to him. What y'all think we about to be doing, son? For real. Bro, I, I don't even know. I don't got the low capacity to be running. Me neither. So if we on teams and I'm on a team with you and we gotta run. First of all. Don't fight me. I feel like she about to have us fucking carrying fucking harnesses on our back up a fucking hill or a wall or some shit like that. Athletic wear, it, I only came with like probably two athletic outfits and one pair of sneakers that's willing to get fucked up. So I'm hoping this is the only thing that we do that's messy. We are outside. It doesn't Running matter. Not they said hotels come outside, but literally it's freezing. 
I'm finna freeze my pussy off. <laughs> Take shit. Did she bring ice? Nah, dead ass stuff for real, bro. Yeah. I don't know. I see like water on the bus, bro. We got six gallons really? of water. It feel like these gloves. I don't think gloves. these gloves just for warmth. Then we got Big Bird gloves. These bitches and big. they water like. I don't that know. thing's gonna be climbing trees. The booty play too fucking much. And she said well, she got somebody for us to meet. Know. Something happened. Booty play basketball. Where the fuck you be? We going somewhere to a different location. Oh my god, what are we meeting? Like, yeah, I, I feel like it's something. Oh, that'll be lit. Oh my god. That'll I'll be lit. Scholar diggings. One of them. Athletic shit. Athletic. Something with sports. I know. Yeah, we're going to play basketball. Yeah. Guys were talking. You know, they was vibing out. I was just trying to focus on the game. See what actually we was about to do. What this challenge was going to be about. So... Mentally, I was in there. I was focused. You feel me? Like, like, I used to be athletic. You heard me? Like, back in the Jeep. But, like, right now, shit, I'm just gonna put on for my city, though. You heard me? I'm just trying to put on for my city. But, ah, I ain't no athletic ass nigga no more. The way y'all been smoking, smoking, shit. Y'all running, shit, man. Not happening. I would love to see y'all run right now. Y'all been blowing this shit down since we got it. And a nigga like me, I gotta keep hitting this vape. So, y'all gonna see me running like, hold on. Be like, 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 like a fat bitch. I be like a fat bitch. Nigga like a straight fat old. Ain't trying to try to. I took a couple shots. Yeah, but I probably get a little weird, just a little bit. She about to have us cutting down trees with these motherfucking gloves. Woody, I want the blood clot out of this. Me look like me and Big Bird. You put me in this blood clot big glove thing. What is? Sound like me I fuck something. I'm trying to feel like, well, like, what do we need to grip type? Yeah, you know? that's that's why I say. Like, like, this is a heavy time. duty outdoor work, construction, and farming. We finna go plant some fucking trees, not tear them down. Ah <laughs> damn. She about that fat. Build a bitch. She about that. Build a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give back to the community. Go, go build a bitch. Stop playing. Cool it from Duval. <laughs> Turn me up. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I love when you say that. Yeah, you might want to take it and look just a little bit, but get your little nice little buzz in. Tight, yeah. Just, just, just vibe, huh? One thing about it. You got two things. One thing. Oh, we on the LFB. Yeah, we should have brought a PS5 on this bad bitch. I'm saying. Dance with somebody. Wait, wait, wait. With somebody who loves. Challenges today. Uh, Cash, you want to tell them anything yet? Um, the brand is, like she said, my brand is called Felon with a Dream. It's F W A D 
You don't have to be a felon or rocky. You just have to believe in second chances. So I'm a three-time convicted felon, and I changed my life yet, and I'm saying so. I reached a thousand people with my brand and stuff like that, and I'm just trying to get the world to know about it. So it's an honor to meet y'all, and honor to be on Boosie so Daddy nice. season two, you know? I'm gonna meet you. Congratulations on that second chance. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. When Woody introduced Felon with a Dream, um, it it kind of touched me personally type shit because I am a two-time convicted felon. And my whole life I was told, like, no, you can't do this. No, you can't do that. No, you can't do this. No, you can't do that because you're a convicted felon. So to see that she is promoting her own clothing line, she's standing on business because that's the standing on business. And she flew out here and came to try to be a part of everything. It really touched me. And to see that her clothing line is really, really good. It's really, it's really, I, I like it. I, I would throw that shit on. You feel me? Like, it, it, it gave me a little push to know that I could do anything I really put my motherfucking mind to do. Because this is a fucking convicted felon in front of me doing big shit. I see Cash and Felon with the Dream. And I'm thinking, they put that shit on. I like the way they dress. I gotta go get her Instagram because I'm gonna need some of that merch after this competition. So I told y'all earlier that y'all was gonna have to dig deep for today's competition. Hit, hit. So I'm about to bail you guys off into it. Today's challenge is called the Get It Out the Mud Challenge. Because Bella with a dream, we got it out the mud. Alright, so what you guys gonna be doing, I'm gonna play you guys off in groups of two. And y'all gonna be building sandcastles, the homes of your dream. And the two that got the best sandcastle, both of y'all get a point towards the competition. Good shit. Let's go! Good shit. Alright, so as I call the two people, I want y'all to go to the station and just wait until I come over there and start time. Oh, how many minutes they got? Let's give them uh, one. 20 minutes, you got 20 minutes. About 20 minutes sound good to me. You got a shovel? It's a challenge. You're gonna have to see what you got at your face. <laughs> right. Yeah. Alright, so you got 20 minutes when I come over there and sound off. The first group, the first group, let me get Baby Jackson and 24K. Thank you. Next group, let me get Montana. Nelly. Well, turn to Nelly. Next group. Let me get Ron and Ty Jack. Ron and Ty Jack. Honestly, y'all, I'm grown as fuck. I ain't no dead, dead shit in the sand, bitch. I'm born in New York City, raised in Atlanta. I ain't no water, I ain't no beaches. So what the fuck we doing in buckets and water, bitch? And last but not least, it's only evident. Me no and Cooler with a K. <laughs> I'm ready to see who's gonna win this. Let's start this time. I know she has the mentality to finesse, and I know she has the mentality to win. So us putting our brains together is gonna make for a good pair. All right, now that we are in the competition area, we finna get this competition started. I wanna see some creativity. I wanna see what, uh, some teamwork. Some teamwork. And I wanna see y'all getting it out the mud, straight up. It's definitely out of the And uh, Ace, you're going to be keeping time. And your time starts now. I 
I don't know none of you motherfuckers. <laughs> Yeah, I. Before I came out to, I was getting a haircut. 24K, she's a barber. Shout out to her, that's my barber. Yeah. She asked me on some, on some humble shit, and I was off that liquor. Y'all know I didn't stay off that liquor. Did you already have a spot on the show? I ain't even gonna count. When she said that, I looked at my little brother. My little brother, like, hey, like, type shit, because I was like, how long with you? Are you checking me? Are you curious? Like, what's going on, type shit? Because she cut off the clippers and all mid haircut, trying to figure out, like, huh? So, boom. I'm like, nah, I didn't already automatically have a spot on the show. That's why you see me in Atlanta auditioning type shit. I like, my TT, this her business. Like, she completely fair around the whole fucking board when it comes out of this shit. But not even just that. I felt disrespected in two aspects. I felt like you were disrespecting my auntie, and I felt like you were disrespecting me because what you trying to say, I ain't good enough to be on the show. You trying to say I ain't putting the same work that you niggas put in to be on the show. So that kind of pissed me off. So when we was doing our little challenge, yeah, I took I, I took the time. I felt like it was a good time to ask everybody, like, do anybody feel like, you know what I'm saying, a nigga didn't, didn't come on like y'all came on. And I, I was given a spot. You know what I'm saying? And they, they kind of uh, brushed it off. So, of course, I had to re-elaborate on it. Does anybody feel like I was giving a spot on it. That shit really pissed a nigga off. Boy, all the way down to a court. Like, I was really the bump about that shit, bro. Because at the end of the day, I put in the same amount of work that any nigga put in to be here. Just because that my TT, so what? What, what? So what, bitch? So what? I put in the same work. She going to drag me through the mud. Just like she drag you all through the mud. It's the same shit, bitch. Ain't shit. I flew her like y'all flew her, bitch. Man, we ain't showing no motherfucking favor to them now. Do them niggas look alike? Fuck yeah. <laughs> what that motherfucker seen in last season? Fuck yeah. And they just on real nigga shit. But I don't think it's no motherfucking favoritism, nigga. All of us got the same side bed. All of us eating. All of us work. All of us doing this shit every fucking day. Ain't nobody getting no ease and it's taking to them that. Nah, that ain't, that ain't real. One thousand. <laughs>
boxes right here. All the hoochie dad is coming in. So this is an apartment complex. 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 Yeah. All right. And what so happened to the tree in the, in the... So we had a tornado, tornado or whatever, and the tree blew down in our lake. So yeah, yeah. Gotcha. We got a lake in the front. Y'all get the picture, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to go with it. I'm trying to get the visual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it, Jay, you know what's going on. Just leave it, just leave it alone. All right. Then we have the initials over here, the HD for the Hoochie Daddy. All right. So, I'm Rupa, I think you guys got a lot going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like how you incorporated the green leaves. I like how they took the shovel, the lift part off. And you got a whole apartment okay. complex. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Build that shit from the mud. All right, yeah. next up. I had it all. I feel like I should have spoke though. You no, know, I could have got down, put some little sprinkle. You no, know, I could have had Wu come up out of drawers if I was spoke. <laughs> all right, Montana, Nelly. All right. So y'all tell me how y'all got the concept with this project. All right, so check it out. We're going to start. I'm glad y'all from that angle because y'all probably don't just see the chick. Okay. We're going to say it into the end. But ultimately, we call this the Dyke Dragon Castle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we got two more. We got two more in the front. We got boats in the motherfucker. We got a motor around this bitch. We're going to do no new friends and shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, come on this side. Come on this side. Y'all got to see the vision, man. Y'all got to see the vision. I just stand back and look at this shit. What the fuck they look like? A fucking dragon, nigga. You got two eyes up there. You got the motherfucking teeth right here. You got horns and shit up there. You know what I'm saying? So we use all our props. We ain't ass shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just what we doing. We got it straight out the motherfucking mud with this one. See what I'm saying? That's what the fuck you talking about. It's not like you know got it out the mud before. Uh-huh. You know what the fuck going on? Yeah, hidden message, man. What you think of? What you think of, Cass? I'm fucking with the boat in the moat. I'm fucking with the boat in the, the boat. I like how they did the hidden message. And I also like how you came with your uh, preparedness to explain the finished product. Right. That and was, and was then you have a visual from both angles. You had a visual from here and you had a visual from there. You did his perspective, different perspective. Mess beautifully with the, the challenge and the meaning behind the challenge. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, bro. Big. We, we gonna make it do what it do. Dino. All right, so let me explain it to y'all real quick. First talk, quarter, right? This our little barn right there. It got all our dirt bikes and all that extra shit in it over there. You feel me? Shit, shit that I can't have on my HOA property. You hear me? All right, so you come up, you got the stairs right there. You feel me? I do. This is both of these are garages, but this is for the wheelchair people, so they can have access to this them. Is we ain't we ain't discriminating on no type of females. We get them in a wheelchair and all. You hear me? <laughs> so you go on up there, right? Boom. I'm gonna let you. Uh, we also got a pool back here, but it's cold out here in Houston, so we had to we had to let the water out. You heard me? Also got a jacuzzi. We got a cabana right there. If you and your little chick and everybody want to chill, don't want too much sun on you. We got that back there. You heard me? All right, guys. We also got Go a studio ahead. on the inside. You can't really see the inside. We got the window right here. Got privacy our window. windows. It's privacy windows. Window right there. Right we got a studio. We got a pool hall. We got a casino. We got everything you need in this right bitch. up in there. You want to make a party? Everything. Turn it down production. It's in this bitch. This is the Hoochie Daddy Castle. It's my head, baby. Okay, okay. Right here. And I really got a lot of mud. Like, like really. Really, really, really got dirty. Like, I was trying to. I like that y'all ain't discriminate with the uh, disabled ladies. Everybody get it back. I heard, uh, maybe they will be leaving in the wheelchair. I might need to take those straps back. Yeah. Everybody will get it. But yeah, come visit the Hoochie Castle, baby. Okay, then. Yeah. 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 Good job. Job. Yeah, it's you a hoochie daddy, the fuck? It's the hoochie daddy castle. You, you, you think Jay-Z and them got big houses, bitch? We got plenty of room. What Lil Wayne say? I can shit all day. We got all that in there. Stop playing. All right. All right. All right. People think Woody is showing coolie favoritism. And in this competition, if that's the case, swing it my way. Hey guys. All right. Me and Cash, we finna take a side ball and decide on the winner. Y'all all did a good job in the get it out the mud challenge. I'm finna send y'all to the bus and head back to the house and I get there and uh, tell y'all the winner and mark the winner's point. These motherfuckers, Tweedledee and Tweedledom, Mino and Cooley, I told these motherfuckers to build a sandcastle, but it really just looked like a clusterfuck. I don't know what they got going on, but I hope that shit get better because I don't want to stay there. Fuck the wheelchair accessible. <laughs> hey, man, Cash, it's good to have you here. Thank you. I appreciate um, you for having me, man. It's definitely an honor. Thank you, 
everybody is, we got to pick a winner. Okay. All right. So I know we went towards all of them, but we got the explanation. Uh -huh. Which one stood out to you the most? The one that stood out to you the most is the one that we had it had different um, views from each point. We could see it with the, the most. Side, yeah, That's the weird agreeance. This may be easy as it. Okay. It really awesome. made me like it because. Um, they had a hit, hidden image, you know what I'm saying? They were the dragon. dragon. Uh -huh. And see, that's how I do my clothes, my fashion. Like, you see this right here? This is really my DC number. So it's B3350, you know what I'm saying? Oh. So it's a hidden message, you know what I'm saying? And so not a lot of people know that shit. Right, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's so, dope. That's right. cold, that's so cold. So when I seen that they had a hidden message, you know what I'm saying, and they thing, I'm like, yeah, that was it. It was very creative, so that's the one I'm fucking with. That's why you fucking with? Yes. I ain't even gonna lie, that's the one I'm fucking with. They won me over with the moat in the boat. Them yes. motherfuckers had a moat around the whole thing. And plus the way Montana described they set up and how they mess it, Correct. it just made more sense how yes. to get it out the mud. Yes, like and the structure was well put together. Uh -huh. Everybody else, they kind of had a lot of shit going on. Right. 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 I'm like, You're right. like, like uh, me knowing I really Kool had hope for the one that had the leaves. I thought the leaves I were, thought because I, I was like, like, okay, they get creative. Tornado I swear to God, I thought they were finna knock out the part. And <laughs> yeah. I said from the get-go, I yeah. thought it was gonna be right But they actually, they actually backfired on them. They actually backfired on them. So I'm glad we in the green. So I feel like Money Montana and Nelly Beach should be the winner. Yeah, I feel like that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and get to the house and let them let you know. Nice to see you too. We in Houston with it, man. I'm gonna have my security while I can see you off. Let's get out this cold. Yo, can I can I be honest with you? No, I just feel like y'all castle was so ass. Like, I'm really mad y'all won. I'm not gonna cast. Like, I'm very competitive. Let me, let me tell you something, man. So I just feel like y'all castle was you got nothing, but you sell it really well. Then it's something. And if the customer walks away feeling like they got something, that's all that matters, man. That's a fact because she was so she was like, yeah. yeah. As y'all was talking, I'm like, yeah. yeah. And that's, that's what? All that matters, man. She's like, yeah. He gave a whole lot of what did y'all do? Yeah. I even not know why that shit could be a girl. I looked at Cooley and was this like, this is what happened. We did the most, and two of them fell apart, right? So then she we mashed them together type shit, and I mean the time is going by. You feel me? So then we put the two up there and the other two, and I'm like, that ain't it, cause like you said. It's trash. Yo, that so shit then like you gotta add a little extra to that shit. So we're like, okay, I'm looking at it. Gave it some visual. You feel me? Yeah. So when you looked at it from our side, it really like, yeah. The way y'all sold that bitch, I did the corner. It legit. My family definitely sold y'all. My Tina sold that because I was in the corner like we good. We got this. Yeah. And my Tina started selling that shit. I'm like, I'm like, like, shut up. I ain't even gonna care. I ain't gonna care. I was like, ah, yeah, we. Because first of all, money. She's saying. Disqualify the other people because they use other resources. This is what the fuck Woody gave us. She gave yeah. us outside. She gave us those so buckets. Use. She gave us those shovels. Y'all didn't use no, we, we use, we use we the pieces, pieces of like the shovels. But everybody, y'all really felt like y'all won. Out of everybody, said y'all felt like y'all had the yeah, best. Bitch, I yeah, bitch, I had leaves. I had trees. Shit, no, y'all. Yeah, we sold it the best. Like that's just what it is. You won. You can't say that. It's done. Hey, the never brought on your castle. I never brought it. Tomorrow. No, I thought y'all was going to win. I thought, I I thought we had it up until you said the accessibility shit. And right. Woody was on that. Woody like, yeah, them I like the way y'all yeah, looked I out for the disabled people. Like <laughs> <laughs> I like the like advertising because it had like the trees and shit. Yeah, so like man, the whole way we was building, I'm looking over there. I'm like, oh shit, look at they shit. They got yeah, I said y'all put the pool. I was like, see, they done stole our idea. So I see now we got to put a different pool down there. See? I was see. I didn't know y'all had a pool. But I didn't know y'all had a pool. Yeah, I said I was taking the pool from the chair. I did the whole little, you feel me? What you call it? I feel like we had the best one, but shit, no cap to him, shit. It was, it was how she spoke on it. She sold that shit. Like, you know how you sell a, like, sell a car? Yeah, I was wrong. That's, that's <laughs> it. She, nah. That's it. She, nah, she, nah, she, nah, she, nah. she uh, Hey, so that shit, wild as fuck. I ain't was not tripping to go outside and have to dig no motherfucking dirt. Me either. Oh, what she said, <laughs> athletic gear. I was like, damn, yeah, we definitely finna play some basketball. So baseball, 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 baseball,
We had the best motherfucking concept. We ain't just put some shit together. We got it out the mud for real. And, and made art no, with this shit. Saying, we did. Saying. And Y'all we had did. trees and shit, but if you ask me, like I said, this qualifucking fact that was not part of the motherfucking. And she did not make it. was not part, part of, of the motherfucking either. supplies, my nigga. It, it was part of the motherfucking supplies. We was outside. You gonna make the most of this shit? It's called impromptu. You know, we surprised. We grab some shit. We still want we oh, still want to talk shit, but y'all gonna get another chance to get a point, so it, it ain't need no point. Being salty food. and shit. Glad what? you got the Also, he did. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. When I looked over at that shit, it didn't even look like nothing like it was a sandcastle or anything. That shit looked like it was just patty cake, patty cake. Like they just grabbed a couple gravel and some dirt and just patted it down and just put whatever they could stick in each window. I'm like, hell no. Nah. They definitely shouldn't have took that dub at all. Oh yeah, let me tell y'all about y'all hoes. <laughs> so listen, uh-uh. so y'all bitches want me to cook, especially here talking to you, cool with a motherfucking cake. Here we go. 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 Bitch, I ain't asked you to make my motherfucking like, plate. Well, bitch, I was actually looking no, down there like y'all wanted to be serving shit, Now, bitch. actually, bitch, I was sitting at the table eating my own motherfucking food, Cool it with a motherfucking food. So, food. let's get back to that motherfucking situation, right? Okay. So, boom. Let, let's run it through. I came here from smoking, you know what I'm saying? Because we talking, we, we, we talking, we talking, uh, uh, we talking. Hey, <laughs> boys, you feel me? Come from smoking the fat wood, you swing a nigga, Wayne. Ah. Bro, I'm talking about I smack that bitch in my mouth. That bitch was hot. People who know me, I don't eat nothing hot. Why? Because I don't want my asshole burning. I know yeah, you say you don't be burning. You can't tell me that it don't burn. I know it does. It does. I don't like that shit. So I, t- I ate the wing p- respectfully because it did taste good. I ain't gonna catch. She seasoned that bit to the gods. It tastes good, so I ate it respectfully. But then I told her like, I don't need the, I don't eat, I don't eat no hot. She said, I'm gonna make you something different to put it to the side. Cool. So when I'm coming up the stairs, I see baby over there smashing down on her plate. And I yep. see everybody getting up like they're ready, ready to eat some shit, you heard? I'm like, yo. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing yeah. all that. What I'm referring to is where my motherfucking chicken is. My yeah, chicken to the my side. Because everybody is. working their way to the motherfucking kitchen. I would hate for somebody to eat my motherfucking shit. <laughs> so, yeah. shit. Yeah. So, 24, what was that about? Like the... The cool shit? Yeah, like you asked yeah. for something. That, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah, I could have helped beforehand. And, yeah, it was just going around online and shit. Like, I guess because of, like, Christmas posts and, like... You know how close she is with Wu. Oh yeah, so yeah. Are, yeah. She was going around online and shit. So I just thought, I, you know, I'm a real nigga, so I, I wasn't finna do this type shit. You know, I wanna go come here and find out. Like, if right. I see so you I'm beforehand, sure. I'm gonna ask you what's up. Real talk, I walked weird. up to her auditions because I was like, uh, I was like, what you? She was just standing there, not talking to nobody. I had to talk to her. I was like, so you good? Like, you, what's up? How you doing? You like a little celebrity over here? She was like, nah, I'm, I'm just chilling. I gotta get ready to feel a scene. Right, she was right, like, right. I was in the club season one, the season one. I said, oh, that's why you look familiar. Oh, oh, hey, what's oh, some yeah, shit like that? I was like, that's shit, why I was like, damn, this. Yeah. Rewatching season one. And somebody online that one pointed that out. That's why. That was another reason why I was like, okay, so she was in season one somehow. Type shit. No, and then she pop up in season two. It was, the it was in her city. It was in her city. city. So I'm like, right. okay, yeah. yeah. And when she came in the uh, audition, it was, hey nephew, hey, hey. Auntie. Yeah, I said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. So nephew and auntie, I said, you better keep that energy this second uh, audition round. Right, right, right. Then that would have been something different. But no. I just wanted to be the one to ask what everyone was gonna be thinking. I, yeah, me and Cooley cool. So I was just like, man, everybody gonna be thinking it anyway. So let me just go ahead and ask it. This is all the people online, man. I feel right. like this shit. Yeah, you gotta be real. This is shit. How y'all feel about the house? This shit leak. No cap. I shit leak. Major upgrade and shit. Yeah, yeah, it's a definite um, upgrade. That shit upstairs, though? That upsta- I hear every single thing upstairs. They be walking their asses off. I'm not gonna lie. Type shit. I'll be having to go to sleep early. Cause Girl, you go to sleep at a drop of a guy. You know what I mean? You sleep on six hours. You hear anything up in that room. Bitch, bitch, we be out here moving around. Hey, that guy was saying some uh, Oreos and shit. Oh, I had yeah. bought some Oreos no. like when we came no, from. You, you smiling and shit. I, didn't, I don't eat Oreos. Right? I ain't no Oreos and stuff in this house. Fuck that shit. Type shit. I'm, I'm still here looking for the motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't seen no Oreos. Oh, yeah. Type, 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 type shit. Type shit. Type type shit. Nigga get another pack, but it's on principle though. You know what I'm saying? It's on principle. Somebody got somebody else. Somebody seen them all though, I feel like. Or I left them at the store. You know what I'm saying? I'm human. Human mistakes, you feel what I'm saying? But yeah, we'll see. It's okay, Oreo. This food, boy, I'm missing this shit. Already, it's on my Already, goddamn. It's early, but she, you that dance, that don't be. Somebody, you don't she, know. I don't know. Or oh, at least it, uh, it was somebody that went to the store or some shit. So it did with me, you. Uh, who else went with us? Baby. And, yeah. uh, uh, what's her name? With the, with the, with the fade.
Bro. Yeah, that what that was. Shit, I don't need nobody to make my mom. I did it for you, though, bro. I made you some spaghetti. I did it for you. Cause you you did. did. That's facts. I have about twenty four k in this liquor, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ain't motherfuckers. Y'all ain't. Y'all like. Let me tell y'all. Me, I don't know who it was. I almost cursed all y'all out yesterday. Me and Rob, I was about to get on all y'all because the shot went missing. So I told y'all when I got here. I am a drinker. Y'all are all smokers. I get that. Y'all get up. Y'all get the sipes going. I like to mix it. We left the bottle downstairs yesterday, and I know me and Hunter started drinking yet. Mm -hmm. And some of the bottle went down. I looked at Rod, and I was like, Bitch, I almost Where's my liquor? <laughs> Where's my liquor? Bitch, I almost got it. You had me say and I said, I was, I was say that in front of all y'all. That's why I bought the bottle. So of question, though, no, I do have a question though because she did volunteer a Hennessy bottle. Yeah, and I think y'all, y'all volunteered so, my bottle. <laughs> no, 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 not not y'all. She volunteered your <laughs> bottle to me. Yeah, Who? so who is she? Who is she? Twenty four. Yeah, yeah, that's how no, she supposed to y'all about that. She told me it was hers. No cap. We did. Have, we both had a honey bottle, but I think at that one point it was my bottle. That's why I took my bottle and took it upstairs. So when I walked in this motherfucking house and I realized everybody was a smoker, I was like, I right, cool, boom. I know smokers don't touch my weed, don't touch my this. I made it clear from the jump, I drink. That's what I do. So I told everybody, don't touch my liquor. So the minute we got here, made the liquor store run, got my bottle, opened my bottle, and only one person touched my bottle. Me. So when I came back down and I realized that some of my liquor was missing, I ain't gonna lie, I was really ready to bring that energy. We was just chilling, and we had to run out of liquor, so I'm trying to pull in on the cup. I'm like, who got, who got some left? Because y'all done drunk my shit, I ain't worried about it, but I know it's some shit around. I know it's some alcohol around this bitch. So 24K, she walks up to me, give me, in my production, the bottle, I done pull me a drink. What do you know? Jackson come around the corner looking for a bottle, talking about a bottle, and I'm like, 24K just said that was her bottle. But, thank you for the drink, whoever bought it was. Hey. Thank you, no crap. Said, I was in the fridge. No, I was in the fridge. I got a question. So boom, I, like, I didn't take nothing out of your bottle. Like, boom, hearing, hearing, hearing about, about like, me and 24, like, well, like, why I asked everybody what I asked everybody. Like, do y'all do y'all have any curiosity or, like, maybe why she came out thinking that type of way or something? Let me be honest, G. Keep that shit sis. 24 minutes. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, everybody got motives, you feel me? Like, I, I just feel like, what was the motive? Like, you wanted to get some information to have it for something. Yeah, I ain't about to sit here and look at a situation like, oh, shit, just because y'all light-skinned with Dre, who the fuck? You feel me? I'm light-skinned too, but I'm your motherfucking cousin too, bitch. Right, but you I feel, feel like if... Like, it just be shit like that with a motive. Like, what's your but motive? But that's my thing like, too. Like, you ain't getting no clout out there. If you cool with somebody and it happens to help you get in the door, then they help you get in the door. Your personality and you got to sell it. I feel like Cooley sold her so bad. Right. You sold yourself. I can't even say that so, because we so, ain't that type no, of. I'm not well, talking about her. I'm talking about in general. Like for me to sit and worry about how another person got in the same position to me, it motive. doesn't matter. Like what's the motive? Yeah, like why would I be the motive? What's the motive? Somebody else is doing. And one of them is to get in them draws. She trying to get in somebody's draws. It ain't mine. You know that, man. She trying to get in one of your guys' draws. So. I don't want to hear shit about nothing, because when I addressed it, all I heard was crickets. So let me authentically win this motherfucking chain.
Hey, the Hoochie Daddy's finna go out here and kill this shit. Shout out to Killers Clothing Brand. Man, we about to turn these motherfuckers up. We came to Houston and took over their city. Y'all ain't ready. Get it up for Dusty. Yes, go. <laughs> Hoes is outside. Let me not even say hoes. The ladies is outside. The hoochie mamas was hoochie mama. Dang. <laughs> See you Friday. They won't so goddamn lit. Wait, they won't fucking so goddamn lit. I ain't even gonna move for cap. I had security this season, but this motherfucker ain't had to protect shit. He only had to protect me from 24K big ass. Titties all on my back, stomach all on my booty. Like, bitch, back the fuck up. I was about to be ludicrous and the bitch start throwing bowls. Straight up, back the fuck up. <laughs> to the left those bitches, I look to the right those bitches, I look in front of me, it's wooded, leading more bitches to us, it's bitches everywhere, boy, bitches, boy, that's all I know is bitches. <laughs> motherfucking camera. Bitch, you about to get beat up on these motherfuckers. Dude, bitch, don't fucking touch cool. Don't touch her. Don't approach her. Whole group of asshole. Like, go sit over there somewhere. Like, you was really about to have me out my body for real. Like, dead ass was about to Mike Tyson your ass. Goddamn. Bitch. Y'all ain't doing way too much pushing up on us, pushing up on the crowd. Bitch, sit your ass down. Nigga, I gave you some fame on the camera. I got you up. Told you, yes, sir. But doing all that touching on me like you know me, son? Yeah, all right, bitch. Yeah, you got me fucked up in that motherfucker. <laughs>